Hello YouTubers, I'm showing you the Acer E1 um, issue. Um, this is basically the error I got. Default device missing and boot failed, blah blah. And um, what I did uh, was basically a, normally, I mean, if you press OK now, you have no options, but uh, Previously, I had um, I had I, I, I saw all the um, the devices there like hard drive and everything after clicking OK. So what I did after searching a bit, um, I I found a, a software. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, sorry, censoring a bit. Uh, so actually having this uh, Rufus software and here you can see it I guess uh, you have Rufus and the software started itself so I just formatted formatted it um, with the default options even if it gives you an error it's no problem at the end, it, it showed me like press OK. Uh, before formatting, please please copy your files over from it. So I got this error, but it, it worked OK. It didn't matter. So I also uh, so close off. I also um, copied over the. Um, it BIOS so I downloaded the, the BIOS file which would be this one mine doesn't have a it's, it's a zip file but it doesn't have a file associated with it right click I use 7-zip extract here and I ended up with this folder and then the larger file you, you just do the same 7-zip 7-zip extract here so I copied over all this after the formatting um, I don't know if it helps or not but I did it and for me it worked so I just pasted it here so after doing this um, let's uh, let's get back to the laptop safely remove it again don't don't forget to to remove um, yeah, this one safely remove okay blah blah don't forget to so yeah same error as you got here but probably on your uh, on your laptop um, after um, after seeing this error you see the boot options there um, okay so what I did here is like after I saw the um, after after rebooting with the, the BIOS in it uh, sorry with the USB stick in it uh, it would have it would have shown the um, I'm removing the stick because otherwise it won't uh, start because now this is the latest BIOS so after seeing this, I would have pressed OK. I would have seen the the four options like uh, CD-ROM, hard drive. First one was the USB stick. So uh, this was with, with the USB stick in, and uh, boot off the USB stick, and you you had the menu there, and and uh, try to boot the previous Windows if you still have the Windows installed. Or maybe it just unlocks after after uh, putting the stick in. It it would just unlock the BIOS and you can press F2 to enter. So I'm just gonna reboot it now. Um, press F2. Okay. Still gonna probably gonna have to remove the. Okay. 
it's not booting with this one so press F2 go to boot uh, it's already selected UEFI select legacy and uh, the part you probably find anywhere and then exit, exit saving changes and uh, yes let's put the USB stick in and see what it does <coughs> and it boots off the hard drive so basically this is this is what I did I, I uh, installed the um, I installed um, some uh, that I, I just uh, formatted the USB stick with the Rufus and booted off of it and in the Rufus menu or whatever boot menu Fridos menu you have uh, boot from hard drive I booted from the hard drive and from the after booting from the hard drive I managed to successfully install uh, boot up Windows. I don't know why it was blocked. I'm presuming it's like um, uh, it's full of viruses, and and this is why I got into this mess. So um, this one worked for me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll I'll be more than happy to to answer anything. And this one has an issue, so it's not genuine. Okay, thanks for watching, and good luck with unbreaking your uh, laptop. Bye.